What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to do a bit of a discussion video because I've, I've had a couple followers ask me and a couple of my friends in real life ask me about the hot tub situation going on over on Twitch. And you know, honestly, when it comes to issues like this, I try not to speak out too much because honestly, my opinions tend to be very neutral. Like I don't really like to take sides in situations like this, but since you guys are asking me, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my opinion of what's going on. So if you're not aware, um, if you, you know, if you don't know, I do stream on Twitch, by the way, Olympus Gaming YT on Twitch. Make sure you follow you, boy. Um, there has been, a lot of controversy and debate over the hot sub streamers. If you don't know what hot sub streams are, it's essentially men and women, because I've seen both you know genders do this, um, sitting in a hot tub having conversations or doing whatever um, on Twitch and talking to their followers or their subscribers or whatever the case is. Now, on paper, you hear that and you're like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a new way to interact with their subscribers. I mean, you're in a hot tub, you're relaxing, you're doing your thing, blah, blah, blah. Well, the controversy kind of comes into play because I, I hear so many different sides to this. You know, you have the group that says, hey, Twitch is not the destination for this type of thing. Uh, Twitch is a gaming platform where gamers come to unite and interact, so on and so forth. But if you don't know, Twitch is owned by Amazon. And I will say for the past couple years, Amazon has been trying to break out of just doing video games on Twitch. They're trying to make it like a sports destination. They're trying to attract different types of talent to Twitch to make it a little bit more diverse. But Twitch was built upon video games, right? So you have the purist who says like, hey, you know, Twitch is not the platform for this. If you want to do this, you know, you go to OF or whatever the case is, right? Then you have people like me who kind of sit in the middle. I, I understand both sides of the coin. You know, I'm not the content police. I'm not gonna tell people what they can and cannot make on Twitch. That's not my job. I frankly don't care. Um, but I also understand the concerns of other creators saying, hey, you know, this type of content can't be the face of Twitch because, you know, people are gonna now come to Twitch expecting that type of content to be shown everywhere. And I understand, I understand the concern. Um, like I said, I kind of sit in the middle of this. Me personally, personally speaking, this is my opinion. I don't necessarily see the issue with people or women in particular, because I know, you know, a lot of the comments that I saw was, you know, aimed towards women. If women are creating a, if, if women have a way that they can interact with their followers and people are willing to watch this. And I said this way back when I made a video about OF. Um, <laughs> if people are willing to subscribe to this and there is a market for this type of content, I don't see the issue with people supplying it. Now, when you want to talk about fairness, Twitch has a history of being very selective in who they punish for what reason. And I think with the, the hot tub situation is very interesting because they do have a TOS that does allow this type of content. You know, I guess it's a technicality. Um, but also, you know, where do we draw the line? You know, what can be considered suggestive? What can be considered inappropriate? You know what I'm saying? And I don't think I'm the right person to put a label on that because like I said, it is highly subjective. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, I really don't have a lot to, to say about this. I mean, on one hand, do we blame the women supplying the content or do we blame the consumers, right? And I do understand the other side of the argument. If you are a woman on Twitch, and I have a lot of, you know, female friends that go on Twitch. I do have a lot of uh, female, you know, followers and friends who are on Twitch, who are legitimately on there to game and to meet like-minded people and you know for what i've heard you know they have viewers who come in who expect that type of you know interaction where they're in a bikini or a bra or whatever the case is and you know it, and, you know to them it puts a it puts the face of female gamers or female content creators in a place that they don't want it to be so i do get that side of it as well like i said i am very neutral on it um I, I really want to make this video just to kind of bring up the conversation to my community. What do you think? Drop some comments down below and let's talk about it. I'm really curious to see where people stand on this issue. But yeah, I just want to kind of get, throw my two cents in the hat. I mean, I don't, I don't really have a solid opinion on this, but you know, let me know what you think in the comments, man. We can discuss it out and maybe I'll get a new perspective, right? With that being said, guys, I am out. I'll see y'all next time and uh, peace.